Proactive, Innovative, and Duplicable Sustainability. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 120. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Siebel and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 120, July 5th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week with pictures and videos. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our email updates list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, wrote and transferred another 25% of the content for the Freedom Lesson Plan to the website. This means that this lesson plan, which teaches all subjects to all learning levels using the central theme of freedom, is now 75% complete. In addition, behind the scenes, we wrote 30% of our lesson plan with central theme of outer space. Lucas Almeida, a member of the graphic design intern team, completed the last 50% of the nature page, and we have it here for you to see. Lucas also helped us create this new image for the Dreams lesson plan, which we featured this week across our social media channels. And Lucas created seven more lesson plan memes that are used to share our lesson plans across social media. The addition memes include Freedom, Outer Space, two different versions, Human Body, Planet Earth, two different versions, and Quality and Quantity. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source melons hub. We also researched and added two recipes to the open source chote hub which you can see here and we researched and added two recipes to the open source wax gourd hub. More recipes from our food self-sufficiency transition plan will be added to each of the individual hubs in the future. Last but not least, we added three new tasty recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB. These recipes were added to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, and they include peaches and cream oatmeal, noshi and sage and butternut squash sauce, and a 15 shades of green entree salad. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week's core team working on highest good housing continue the redesign of the Earthbag Village landscaping after changing the structural design of the net zero bathrooms. Now I've got all ADA accessible bathrooms for the central ring, and this work is about 60% done. Behind the scenes, we also finished researching and adding all the waterproofing strategy equipment and materials images and descriptions. 
This work is now complete, and once added to the site, we'll complete the final 25% of the waterproofing strategy tutorial page. Song Dong also created this open source tutorial for running structural analysis in SOLIDWORKS on complex structures like our domes. Samantha and Flavia from the Architecture and Planning intern team worked on improvements to the structure, plumbing, interior layouts, and exterior appearance of the Shipping Container Village Pod 5. This is the second round of design changes and updates to this village. Sarah, Hakel, and Diana, also members of the Architecture and Planning intern team, researched landscape characteristics and the site of the nearest regions to the property we wish to purchase. And this included sun chart, water hydrology, wind, soil, vegetation, wildlife, topography, snowfall, temperature, and more. They did this in order to develop the first scheme of a master plan for village placement. Sarah then used this to place the seven villages according to sun orientation, topography, and proximity to existing roads. Hakel and Diana then created a how to plan the placement of my home or village tutorial, teaching what considerations should be included when selecting a location for sustainable construction. Adolfo and George, both members of the mechanical engineering intern team, changed the design of the vermiculture bathroom tray design to increase tray contact for worm travel. They also started running calculations using EFM and treating the trays like beams to have a more accurate simulation result. Fernando and Amari, both members of the mechanical engineering team, ran calculations to show how much heat can be changed and simulations to show the temperature difference and pressure drop inside the pipes for the Earthbag Village communal shower heat exchangers. Sayonara Batista de Oliveira, a member of the architecture and planning intern team, continued work on the Straw Bale Village Pod 2, finishing the rest of the living layouts and entryway design and planning for all the social spaces. Mateus Manfredini also created this complete report for the structural engineering details for the reciprocating roof design that we'll be using for the Earthbag Village communal shower and bathroom designs. Gilberto, a member of the graphic design intern team, began creating a 3D model of the couple's dome design for the Earthbag Village and the bark of the tree making it realistic. He also made necessary corrections of polygon topography for this house and the UV unwrap of the bark. Also, the position of the window is fixed and all this is for the real-to-life video representation of this structure. Manasseis researched references for layouts and selected the best editorial examples for the complete Seven Village portfolio, and Gabrielle started developing the rendering for the Murphy bed for the Earthbag Village final real-to-life renders. From other members of the intern team, Carolina, as a starting point for working with the Treehouse Village Pod 7, began a research process into the objective of constructing a treehouse pod using service design strategies, architecture building enveloping, and analyzing existing treehouse structures. Anna researched non-toxic roof paint as a dome covering, and also calculated the dome surface area to determine the amount needed for coverage and research uh, sorry, for the amount needed for coverage, and she also researched PVC pipe for drip irrigation and specs for health. Last but not least, Welma researched waterproofing and the waterproofing products that one community can use in all kinds of houses from aerated concrete to straw bale and beyond. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This last week, Erica, Dais, Pedro, and Victor from the Architecture and Planning intern team took over and completed the first steps of the lighting study with simulations on Dialux to Living Dome at the Duplical City Center. Mike Balbino continued working to create the work breakdown structure for the Duplical City Center, which is now 15% complete. He also reviewed the water catchment projects designed by the hydraulics intern team and gave some ideas to improve the overall design and filtration. Ricardo Carrillo, design consultant and principal of Acumen Industries, and Antonio, Gabriel, Beatriz, Rodrigo, and Marilio, all members of the structural intern team, developed a 3D model on AutoCAD for all the columns, beams, and slabs from the cupola version 2. They also modeled the domes in 3D to ensure that the elevation of the horizontal support rings matches with the elevation of the doors, windows, and first floors in order to support them. In addition to this, Fabio, Lucas de Souza, and Lucas de Silva, Guilherme, Enrique, Thiago, and Israel of the electrical intern team studied the American standards for residential electrical design, created and completed a table to organize their information so their work was more efficient, and worked on the electrical design in AutoCAD 2D. Jogo, Roberto, 
Joao, Mateos, and Isidora from the Hydrox intern team continued their water consumption design for the Duplicable City Center, adding in lead version 4 specifications and further updating the reservoir sizing. They also started to develop the fire protection system, which we use sprinklers. They are about 15% complete. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team continued the updating of our entire website to be mobile friendly. This week's work included fixing icon and image errors on another 30 plus pages and text coloring errors on all our bio pages. We'd say we are now about 40% done with this complete website overhaul. Behind the scenes, Binru Chen, accountant specializing in audit and financial reporting, researched and added an additional accounts section to the Statement of Activities document. This is an additional tutorial for the Excel spreadsheet she created last week, covering tax considerations and strategies for transparent operation of a nonprofit ecotourism destination as one community. Also behind the scenes, Lucy Liu, accountant specializing in financial reporting and managerial accounting, continued creating the Charities and Other Not-for-Profit Organization Tax Filing Tutorial. This week's work covered property tax exemptions for nonprofit organizations. Lucy started by researching California, will next choose another state to demonstrate the differences between states, and will then create a tutorial for finding these necessary details for all 50 states. This work, and Bin Ru's work, is all part of the highest good economics component of building teacher demonstration hubs. Manuela, a member of the graphic design intern team, analyzed one community's global philosophy, communication, and current visual identity. This is the first three steps to create a new brand strategy based on design thinking methodology. She used mind, mind maps, SWOT analysis, and affinitizing to brainstorm the or, and organize her research, as you can see here. Igor, Marco, Mateos, and Natalia from the software development intern team researched the existing highest good network application coding and determined it would be better to start a new web application from scratch using a common programming language. They then started the new web application requirements and documentation you see here, completing approximately 50% of the initial guide for programmers and users interested in using or modifying what will be the new open source software for one community. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community thinks that proactive, innovative, and duplicable sustainability is the key to creating a world that works for everyone. Our goal is to make this as easy as possible, to make it as affordable as possible, and to demonstrate it as attractive as possible so that the idea will spread on its own. And our path to doing that is through creating, creating open source, self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. These hubs will be built on open source foundations of food, energy, housing, education, highest good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, an open source recreation model, as well as true earth stewardship. Demonstrating for people a way of living that most will consider to be better than the way that they're living now so that people will want to implement these ideas and hopefully the complete teacher demonstration community village city model for themselves. Therefore, teaching others how to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as well. We call this a solution model that helps to create additional solution creating models. And we see this idea of putting everything together in one place as an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical sustainability components of food, energy, and housing and combines them with the emotional sustainability components of education, recreation, high good economics so people can get themselves out of debt, stay out of debt, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting these things together in one place that people can visit, and if they like what the experience is of visiting so that they can duplicate it for themselves. This is our idea of proactive, innovative, and duplicable sustainability. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this is something that you would like to participate in, we invite you to join us. Get involved with our team. There's lots of different ways that you can do that, ranging from the people that will move to the property and build and share everything that is one community, people that are working right now, meeting weekly through our collaborative calls and working on all the different details and coordinating everything, to the partners and consultants, 
which are the people that are helping behind the scenes, they're contributing their expertise and helping to evolve everything, to just sharing our information on social media. And all the different social media networks from Sue to LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, and about 10 or 15 others as well, so to make it as easy as possible. And sharing our information is a huge help. Also, the number one thing that we're seeking right now, if you'd like to participate and help us to find the funding that we need to get the property off the market, that is the single most thing that would help our organization right now. We've identified the property. We've been working this property now for four and a half years. It's still on the market, and it is ideal for our global transformation goals. Getting that property off the market will allow us to disclose the location, allow us to get boots on the ground and start doing some of the site surveying and other details and open sourcing the specifics for adapting our blueprints and open source tools, tutorials, and resources to specific locations and allow us to accelerate our entire creative process probably about 50 times faster than what we're doing right now and allow us to complete our team, which will allow us to produce hundreds of times more than what we're doing right now. And ultimately, once we're on the property living and collaborating full time together, thousands of times what we're creating right now. This is what one community is doing. We believe that a world that works for everybody is totally and completely possible within our lifetime. We believe that the resources and the technology already exist to create this, and so it's time to create an open source replicable version of it. We see bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, to, to bring together the people that believe that this is possible too, is the path to doing that. So we can create an easy access point and many small components that also can be duplicated so that as every element that we open source becomes replicated, modified, adapted, and hopefully open sourced even more, the faster the ideas will spread, the easier the ideas will become to implement, the easier, the more affordable the ideas will become, and therefore we will ultimately reach that tipping point where we bridge pragmatism and idealism and create a world that actually supports all of our people sustainably as our population continues to grow, as we continue to evolve and expand as a species in such a way that this planet will serve our needs indefinitely. That's what we're up to. This is our idea of proactive, innovative, and duplicable sustainability. So thank you as always for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations that we get. $5, $10, $50 really makes a big difference in covering our web fees. We're launching an iPhone app. We're gonna be launching a new open source software as well that we'll be using internally for logging our time that's replacing our old open source software. We've got a lot of different things, small expenses. None of our team is paid. All of our members are unpaid nonprofit volunteers, and so every dollar that people donate goes directly into supporting and helping us grow our grow our mission and grow our open source uh, uh, tools and tutorials that we provide to the world, and to grow our website and to help forward everything that it is that we're creating. So, thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the emails that we get. If you like more details, more specifics, you can visit our website at onecommunityglobal.org, or of course, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. Of course, this whole blog, the written blog, is on the website as well if you go to our blog. That's where you'll find uh, specifics to this report. Thanks for following our progress.